Hello, Paul Pluto, Paul Pluto Channel, Archibald, Chesterfield, the third for the AC3 program on Archie Luxury. Today, I'd like to talk about, I'd like to talk about boring Rolex, the Rolex reality. And I gotta tell you, out of all the watches at the moment, there is a huge global depression in wristwatches. Okay, okay, yes, we may not see these uh, these prices if you if you are a frantic surfer and you go around look at all the watch shops online, you won't see huge bargains. But you try sell some of the harder to shift brands: Panerai, IWC, Jigula Coultra, Amiga. You go and try and sell this stuff, and you'll see prices have been decimated. Now, I want to talk today about Rolex. Rolex. Rolex is the brand that defies everyone else. It sets the market parameters. And I got to tell you, Rolex, modern steel sports Rolex, is blue chip as it comes. And I got to say this, in all honesty, honesty I don't want to. I don't want to alienate some of my viewers because I do love you people, but it's just getting a bit boring for me. I mean, how many Submariners can Rolex release? I mean, okay, the Red Sea Dweller. Ah, come on! If you got that sort of money, wouldn't you get a Patek? I mean, it's just so boring. Boring. And I, I, I gotta be completely frank and honest with you there. I've been wearing my IWC for the last couple of days. Now, it is dealer poison. I got an IWC Inji, the Ingenua. And it's retail suicide, retail suicide. It's, it's, um, it's practically, I can't give the bastard away. But that's okay. That's okay. I've been wearing it and I've been enjoying it. And I look at the beautiful dial with the the, the printing on the dial, the guilloche type dial, and I look at the um, the applied markers and the block 1970s hands, and I think to myself, you know something? Realistically, this watch is so much more interesting than a Rolex. It's so much more interesting. I mean, Rolex, I loved me Rolexes. I was a huge Rolex fan. I loved them to death, but they are so boring. Boring, boring, boring. I mean, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be rude, and I, I love my close viewers and fans. I mean, I gotta tell you a little secret. I got a big collector in Marlborn. I've helped him with his collection. He's a really cool guy. He does a little bit of debt recovery work for me. Anyhow, what was he in a previous life? He was an accountant. I got another really cool fan. Really cool fan. He collects <coughs> modern steel sports. His collection is 90% Rolex. He's an accountant. Now, I got nothing against accountants. I love accountants. I certainly love accountants more than lawyers. <coughs> but when it comes to the creative arts, besides a bottom of the harbour scheme, they're not really cool, interesting people. They're kind of boring. You know, they... They don't design Alfa Romeos. They kind of, um, they help clients with tax problems. I mean, I, I got nothing against these people. These people are really great friends of mine, but I got to be completely honest and frank. I love me IWC. Yes, it's retail poison. I made a mistake. But just the way it's done, just the, the way the dial is, the hands, the case, it's really a thing of beauty. Okay, I know, it's unsaleable. I'll probably be stuck with that watch until I cark it, okay? Until I cark it. Yes, that could be true. 
But Rolex, how many GMTs do you really want to see? You know, even the brands, you know, exciting models like the um, the Milgauss, uh, the Daytona, Passe. Whereas an IWC, I just love it. I love it, but <coughs> it's not a good buy. So the the, uh, the investors out there, oh, they won't touch IWC with a barge pole. Okay, fair enough. I understand what you're saying. And i got to tell you something. Watch collecting is more than just retained value. you got to buy things you like. If you like it, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. And uh, I, I got to tell you, it's very, very fascinating. you got to buy things you love. If you love it, that's all that matters. And uh, i got to be honest with you. Rolex is boring. It's boring. I mean, I know that the ceramic, the bluesy, yes, yes, yes. I can speak the lingo. Yes, I can talk the talk. But can I walk the walk? And the answer is, I fall asleep. I'm a sleepwalker because Rolex is so boring. And I got to tell you, <coughs> I'm I'm not king. I'm not the 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 Kama, Kama Sutra king when it comes to picking investment grade watches. I've picked a few duds. I picked the Explorer Two. That's the the most unsellable Rolex there is with the polar dial. I picked a Jaeger Lacoultre when I could have got a two tone bluesy. I picked the Amiga Speedmaster, which Amiga has turned into the tank of brands. It's just unsaleable. I picked an IWC, which is just, I don't know, it's corporate poison. What would you want to call it? And I put my money into a big ticket paddock, world time. Unsaleable in the short term, I can tell you that much. So don't listen to me for investment choices. But at least some of these things I've got are interesting. I mean, if I had all Rolexes, is that the way I want to go? Is that the way? Is it all investment yield and return and, and depreciation and spreadsheets? Is that what we're doing this hobby for? I'm Paul Pluter, talking about Rolex. Rolex is so boring. Rolex reality, it's boring. Boring. Tell me what you guys think of that. Nice one, Arch. Great to hear you. Speaking good of the IWC. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.